Yes, Rastafarians have their own pronouns. Come and me teach your part one now. everyone welcome to shan's patwa academy jamaican patwa simplified my name is shan but today you can call me empress shan <laughs> your jamaican patwa teacher from jamaica now in a previous video titled what languages are spoken in jamaica i briefly spoke about the ayaric language now this is the name of the language spoken by rastafarians even though this language is largely made up of English words, one unique feature is the use of the I to form their personal pronouns. So yes, Rastafarians have their own pronouns. So what does this look like? Um, I'm going to start from the English base and then move into the area because I think English, most people watching this will understand some English, right? So the English personal pronouns look like this. We have the persons on one side and then we have singular and plural so singular plural and once again singular means one thing plural means more than one thing in this case we're going to do people and then we have persons over here so first person we have third person or second person second and then we have third person now in english First person singular would be I, right? I go to the market. I would be first person um, singular. Um, first person singular would be I plus somebody else. Me plus somebody else. So it would be we. And then second person would be you. Second person in English would be you. And then... In the plural form of that would be you and all. Sometimes you say you, plural, or you all, right? And then the third person singular would be he or she. And then the plural of this would be they. This is what the English personal pronoun chart would look like. So... This might be familiar to you. I, you, he, she, we, you, all day. So we're going to look at this in the Rastafarians or the Ayaric language. What do they say? What do they call themselves? Let's get into that. Now for the first person singular in the Ayaric language or in Rastafarian um, language, Rastafarian speech, we have... I and I. So one of the ways they refer to themselves is I and I. I and I. I'm using the common spellings for all of this today. So I and I, they refer to themselves as I and I or Iman. Iman or the I. The I. The I. So these are three ways they refer to themselves um, in the first person singular. So I and I, Iman, or the I. Now Iman may be the maybe it's a masculine term. So maybe only males would say that. Would I say Iman? I probably say it. I don't know, but these are the three ways, and I'm on, I want to say it's mostly a term used by men, but I am not sure, sure. I mean, not sure, sure, sure. So, asterisk this, so. But these are the three ways. I and I, I'm on, D-I, all right? And you'll hear that in, um, when they're speaking to each other, they refer to themselves as I and I. I'm on or the I. All right. <clears throat> Next, we're going to look at the plural. So in English, we have we. Um, in Ayaric or in the Rastafarian um, speech, they would say I and I.
they'll say I and I. Okay? So once again, first person singular. In English we'd have I. In Ayarik would have I and I, I man, or di. And then the plural we in English would have I and I. Um, these are the general terms. I am not a member of the Rastafarian movement, so there might be other terms that they use, but this is the general um, terms that most of the public will recognize. You know, um, if there are other terms that I'm leaving out of this video and you are, you know, intricately involved with the Rastafarian movement and you know more than I do, leave that in the comment section below so we all can, you know, learn more. All right, let's get to the second person, singular. You, in English, you, in Rastafarian speech, we would say Aya. Now, Aya is, uh, this is going to be confusing. It is a different color. So we'd say Aya. Now, you, you say Aya if you are like talking, maybe talking directly to the person. Of course, that is what you say you for anyway, so it makes sense. So you becomes Aya or Idrin. I drain or the I. So the I is used here as well. The I. So second person, you, singular you becomes Aya or I drain or the I. Alright? And then the plural, you all, becomes the I them, the I them, the I them. Or Idrin. And Idrin is kind of like, think about like brethren, kind of. <laughs> that's where, maybe that's the origin. I think that's the origin. Not sure. Think it is the origin. But, so you all becomes the I them. The I them. And once again, remember them in most of my videos, I actually say this. Them is the plural form of whatever is in front of it. Most of the times. So, in most of my videos, I point this out, but them um, here is the plural form of whatever is in front of it. And the I was you, so the I them, you all, right? And then Idrin is another way to refer to you as a collective. So, you, Aya, or Idrin, or the I, and then you all, the I them, or Idrin again, Okay? And next, the third person, singular. In English, we would say he or she, right? He goes to the market. She goes to the market. In Rastafarian speech or Ayarik, you would hear the I or the Idrin. So you'd have the I or the Idrin. The I or the Idrin. And in the plural, in in third person plural, in English, they, in Rastafarian speech, it will become the Idrin or the I them. So it's similar to you all. The Idrin, the I them. So this is what the chart looks like. Um, it's a bit, it might be a bit, might be a lot to take in, but after this, I'm going to go into some examples. So, singular, first person singular, in English, we would have I. In Ayarik, we would have I and I, I man, or the I. In the plural, singular, we, we would have I and I. In second person singular, you in Ayarik, you would say Aya or Idrin or the I. And in the plural second person, you all or you as a collective would have the I them or Idrin. In third person singular, in English, he or she. In 
Ayaric or in Rastafarian speech we have the eye or the eye drain. And in pl the plural, third person, they in English we would have the eye drain or the eye dem. Now if you notice we have like the eye dem, the eye dem, the eye drain, eye drain, all of those are repeated. The context of the sentence will tell you who the person is right when you hear the when you hear these in speech form it's very easy to tell who is being spoken to or spoken about right so it, even though it looks confusing here because it's kind of repeated in spoken um, language or in written language a context the rest of the sentence will tell you who is being spoken to or spoken about all right, now let's get into some example sentences. Okay, let's get into these three examples that I have here. Now, we have the first example, I man a tell the I. I man a tell the I. I man a tell the I. In, in this um, lesson, I am not using Cassidy JLU, okay? I'm just using the common spelling for Jamaican Patwa because if you notice, Ayarik uses a lot of Jamaican Patwa as well. All right. So I man a tell the I. I man here is I. So I a tell means I'm telling, and the I here means you. I man a tell the I. I man a tell the I. I am telling you. I am gonna tell the I. I am telling you. Okay. Next sentence. Get a man. <coughs> get a man him things no aya. Get a man him things no aya. Get a man him things no aya. This means give. Uh, means give. Give. The man means the man. The man. Him things means his things. All of this part is really <coughs> Jamaican Patwa. So if you learn Jamaican Patwa, it's so easy to understand Rastafarians talking, right? Because um, a lot of it is Jamaican Patwa, but then the pronouns change. So the pronouns are like, they, they don't really use a lot of me, and you and so on so this is where that comes in they use the i that's why it's called the iaric because they use the i um as pronouns so give the man him things not aya this means give the man him <laughs> i was gonna say give the man him things <laughs> give the man his things and no here is a uh, it's if you were to translate this it would be why don't you give the man his things <laughs> give the man his things no aya is like you're pleading to the person why won't you or will you something like that so no aya the aya here means you you why don't you give the man his things give the man his things give the man him things no aya give the man him things no aya and the last example we're looking at today is the item no fi follow some fine man. The item no fi follow some fine man. And the item means you all. So maybe this person is talking to a group of people or talking about a group of people. The item, the item you all no fi means should not follow means um follow or it means to be influenced to be influenced by or to um follow or to copy kind of thing the item not you follow some fine man no some fine man means a con man and this term i re i learned recently right so 
Is it used in everyday Jamaican patois? Maybe. But I came across this recently and I was like, what is a Sam Fine Man? There's a whole song about it too. I don't know why I'm just learning it. But Sam Fine Man means con man. I, I didn't know it. I didn't, I didn't know this term. So will the average Jamaican use this term? Maybe certain parts of the country, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe me just never because you have another more popular term for con man, which is ginal. So, and that term is more common ginal. So, we, we always use ginal, but for con man. But recently, I learned that some fine man means con man too. So, yeah, you can use either one of those, but ginal is more common. So, if you Use some fine man and the person who you're talking to don't know what you're talking about. Me never know till recently, so me can't say, <laughs> you know. But apparently, a lot of people use it. So just learn this term, some fine man. Another term to another way to say con man and um, ginal. Ginal is more common, I think. So yeah, these are the three examples. I am gonna tell the I. I am telling you. Give the man him things na aya. Why don't you give the man his things? And the item not fi follow some fine man. You or you all shouldn't um, copy the con man. You all shouldn't um, do what the copy man, the con man is doing. Kinda. You shouldn't listen to the con man. You shouldn't be influenced by the con man. Okay, so now I feel compelled to tell you a joke. Now, me know some men are comedian and apparently me love embarrass myself online. So, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this joke that I heard. I think um, I, I was told this joke by my sister when we were young, 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 young. And I, I don't know where she learned it. I don't know where she heard it from. But... It's it's this joke, all right? <laughs> Why am I laughing for the joke? All right. So, two men were at the bus stop. Two men were at the bus stop. One Rasta, a Rasta man, and a um, Balid man. Balid man means he's not Rastafarian. So, a Rasta and a Balid man, they're at the bus stop. And, um... Oh wait, me start the joke wrong already. Jesus, me no say you can't tell so me not used to this. Alright. Well, rest the man there at the bus stop, away from a bus. And the bald man come up to the bus stop and see the rest of the man and say, Um Wagwan Rastar, you know, greet him or whatever. And the rest of the man say, I away pan a bus I away pan a bus I and the bald man start bus <laughs> start punching. The rest of them start punching me name right eye. Cause the rest <laughs> may figure explain the joke too cause uh, in English. Alright. So the rest of man start punching in I'm right eye. Because bus eye in the rest of your hands mind, the bus, he's waiting on the bus eye. That's how he'll say. It's kind of like it. He's waiting on the bus eye. And then in Jamaican patois, bus eye is like you punch somebody in them eye. You know? So I'm saying, I away pan a bus eye, the ballin man start punching me in them right eye. So the rest of the man say, left eye man, left eye. <laughs> you know, the rest of man, my, so the rest of man say, left eye man, left eye. So the ballin man start punching in them left eye. Uh, because, you know, the rest of man mind, Left eye means leave me alone. Left eye, leave me alone. But in other ballad man, <laughs> mine, left eye means, oh, not the right eye. Bust up my left eye. <laughs> then, um, after the ballad man now done punch the, punch the rest of man, in I'm left eye, the rest of man say, what the eye do the eye make the eye do the eye so? <laughs> that means, what the eye, I, what the I 
do the I, the I, that means you. Where the I, do the I, do you. Make the I, make the I, make you. I do the I, so. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Anyways. <laughs> I just think that a joke that are relevant now because yeah um language and communication is very interesting especially if you know that's basically two different languages at play the Ayaric and the Jamaican Pato so yeah um <laughs> if you know any jokes for yourself leave them in the comment section below me not ask you know if me funny because me tell you that I'm a comedian <laughs> But I thought they're still funny after all these years. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. And um, please check out some of the other videos that are on this channel. Also, leave a, leave a practice sentence in the comment section on using the Iaric or the Rastafarian um, speech or language and make a sentence in the comment section below. Are the bell that? Class done you know. Take care of yourself. See? Please like, share, and subscribe. And please hit that notification bell so that you may be notified every time when I upload a video. Also, please follow me on Instagram for daily Jamaican Patwa vocabulary. I the bell that class done you know. Take care of yourself, Zine.